What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Today I'm gonna to be doing the final part of my series talking about how to use a VPN. And today I'll be specifically focusing on how to use a VPN on iOS devices, so iPads and iPhones. And I'll be specifically using ExpressVPN. So I'll be showing you guys how to use ExpressVPN from start to finish or from install to using ExpressVPN on your iPad or your iPhone. For those of you that don't know, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. I have a video on everything you guys need to know about VPNs. I'll post that down below in the description. It talks about what a VPN is and why you need one. So go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more. I also have several videos out there on how to use a VPN on Windows devices, on Macs, and on the swear word on this channel. Channel. Uh, close your ears if you don't want to hear it. Android. <laughs> All right, so check those out down below in the description if you want to learn how to use a VPN on those devices. All right, so before I get started, I just want to say if you like the content on this video, make sure that you're smashing that like button, hitting the notification bell, <laughs> and hitting that subscribe button. I thought that was a notification bell, apparently. Um, and because all these actions greatly help the channel get more views on YouTube and more people are able to see the channel, which then helps more people be able to protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats out there in the world. Also, make sure you're supporting me if you like this content by clicking some of those affiliate links down below in the description as well. And I also have my Instagram handle down below in the description if you want to follow on Instagram for channel updates, for my cybersecurity thoughts, and a little more connection in my personal life as well. So check that out down in the description. All right, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. All right, welcome to the tutorial, everyone. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get ExpressVPN set up is you're gonna to wanna to go to the App Store. So hit that App Store button and you're gonna to wanna to do a search for ExpressVPN, which I did already. And you should see an icon that looks like this. It's red and it says ExpressVPN dash number one trusted VPN. Once you see that, go ahead and go in the upper right hand corner of the application and click that download button. Mine has a cloud because I've already downloaded it before, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that cloud to download it. All right, so then go ahead and smash that open button. All right, and you got ExpressVPN installed on your device. All right, so there's two options to use ExpressVPN. The first option is to sign in if you already have ExpressVPN, for instance, if you watched one of my other videos that taught you how to use ExpressVPN and you already have an account, you can click that sign in button. I'll show you guys that option a little bit later in the video, but for now, I'm going to show people that have not used ExpressVPN how to set it up brand new on an iPad or iPhone, and you're going to hit that create account button. So let's go ahead and hit that create account button. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and type in your email address to use ExpressVPN completely free for seven days. Nothing like free, right? All right, once you type your email address in, go ahead and click continue. And you can see that you have the option to try it free for seven days. And you have the option to sign up for one month or 12 months. Me personally, I do the 12 month option uh, because it's cheaper. As you can see, you save 35%. But with you guys being new to ExpressVPN, I recommend signing up for the one month option after the seven day free trial. If you still like it, you have another month to assess it. If you don't like ExpressVPN, you can cancel anytime within that first seven days and you will not be charged at all. So go ahead and, and hit that one month option and click continue. All right, so you can see that it's going to try to charge you um, it'll charge it against your Apple account. I am not actually going to submit this because I already pay for ExpressVPN and I don't want to get charged for something I'm already paying for, but you would just hit your Touch ID or type in your password or whatever method you have to verify your purchase. So I'm going to cancel 
And then I'll go back and sign in and show you guys how to use ExpressVPN trying to sign in. All right, to those of you that subscribe to ExpressVPN using the iOS App Store, stay tuned here because you'll probably already be signed into the app at this point. All right, but for those of you that already have an ExpressVPN subscription, you're going to have to go and sign in or click the existing user option. And so you'll click one of those two options. We have the sign in option here. So you click on that and then go ahead and type in your email address and password that you use for ExpressVPN. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill out my email address and password and click that sign in button. All right, so I hit the sign in button. And then it's going to show you this prompt, how ExpressVPN protects your privacy. <laughs> Go ahead and, and read that and click continue, agree and continue, I guess. And then it's going to ask you to set up your VPN. So go ahead and click continue. And then it's going to say ExpressVPN would like to add VPN configurations. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and allow this so that ExpressVPN can manage the VPN on your device. So click allow. And then you'll enter your Touch ID or you'll use your Face ID or put your password in. I have Touch ID on here, so I enabled that. All right, and then ExpressVPN asks you if you want to have notifications. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this because I want to see the notifications from ExpressVPN. And click Allow. And then there's an option to help improve ExpressVPN. I'm going to hit No Thanks. You can do whatever you want there. All right, so now we are at the meat and potatoes of ExpressVPN. All right, so the first thing to take into account here is there's multiple locations that you can pick where you want the websites or the applications that you're connecting to to see where you're located. Uh, my default one is USA Dallas, um, but if I click these three dots next to it, you can see I have multiple different locations so let's go ahead and go from the recommended tab to the all locations tab and you can pick from countries all over the world or continents all over the world um, but let's start out with the Americas. so i'll expand this out um, i want to be in the united states and let's just do chicago here so i'm going to select chicago i'm going to tap that connect button Actually, since I hit Chicago, it just automatically connected, and I am connected to the VPN now. Um, you can see in the upper right-hand corner as well, next to the battery percentage, it says VPN, so that means that I am connected. So even if I get out of the screen, I can see in that upper right-hand corner that I am connected to the VPN. All right, so now if we do a test, if I want to verify that other sites are seeing that I'm connected to the VPN, I'm located in Chicago. Let's go to whatsmyipaddress.com. All right, so now if we wanna make sure that the VPN is actually working right, and when I go to other sites, they see me as being located in Chicago, we can go to whatismyipaddress.com to verify that. Don't allow Edge to use your location or whatever application that you're using because it'll mess you up here. So click don't allow, and you can see that I am being shown as being located in Chicago, which is what I'm connected to. So I definitely know that the VPN is working correctly. All right, so let's say I wanna go and I wanna be in Germany. Let's go ahead and go back. So we'll go back to ExpressVPN here and we will change the location to Germany. So I'll go next to Chicago, click the little three dots and go to all locations, go to Europe. Germany's up at the top, we'll expand that out. And let's just say I wanna be in Frankfurt. So I have three different servers in Frankfurt, I'll just click the third one. It's gonna warn me that my internet traffic may be unsecured during reconnection. So let's go ahead and click continue. I'm waiting for it to connect, taking its sweet time. All right, so now I am connected as if I'm in Germany. So now let's verify that I am actually in Germany. Let's verify that when I go to a website, it thinks I'm in Germany. All right, so we'll go back to our handy dandy Edge browser. We'll refresh the page on whatismyipaddress.com. And boom, I traveled all the way around the world and I'm in Germany now. Man, I got jet fuel going like crazy here. <laughs> I'm pretty fast, aren't I? 
All right, so if you want to disconnect from the VPN now, you'll go back into ExpressVPN and smash that connected green button, and that will disconnect you from the VPN. Um, you can see it says not connected, and then the upper right-hand corner, that little VPN icon is gone now, so you know you're not connected. So if you went back to your web browser and went to whatismyipaddress.com, you would see your actual home location and your home IP address. And so then, then you would know the VPN was no longer connected. All right, so I hope you guys found that tutorial useful. If you like this content, make sure that you're smashing that like button, hitting that notification bell, and hitting the subscribe button as all of those actions help this channel get promoted on YouTube so more people like you can see this content and help protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats in the world. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.